Oh, it's such a happy face. Hey, would you believe it? This game here was made for Pac-Man's 20th anniversary. This game's almost 20 years old. Really? Say yep. Lucifer. Dude's gonna be turning 40 in about three years. We've Bloody come such hell. a long way. Pac-Man's come such a long way. He's got his own house and his own dog. As opposed to in nowadays where he owns his own frickin' city, probably. Seriously. Oh, no, Chomp Chomp. Nothing. Chomp Chomp found something under the hole. I was about to say, that doesn't look like the Chomp Chomp I've seen before. Oh, no! Oh, jeez! No. Oh, what happened there? Oh, baby. Oh, it's Pac Baby along with the Puka from Dig Dug. Why is Dig Dug hanging out here? Whoa, what's happening? Oh, he hey, where am I going? The hay? Oh, the butterfly. Don't! Oh. Don't! Ow! Oh Dig no! Taizo no. got him! Shit. <laughs> anyway, Aww. now we got Professor Pack. Well, this is quite the pick. Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, oh, well, I do believe I'm in the middle of being abducted by an extraterrestrial. I'm being sucked up by space invaders! I do hope they like tea. <laughs> and there's... And, there's, and, there's, and, there's, and, then, there's and then there's the 80s Pack Jr. Pack Jr., aww. The one that nobody liked. Hey there. Wait, let's just remove him. Get him out of this whole picture. Ow. Oh god, he just got sick. Actually, it looks pretty painful. Jesus. And then there's the misses. We're now just going gonna to kill her. Movie. We're not even going to kidnap her. We're just going to kill her. You didn't like Miss Pac-Man that badly? Oh, there's a random cat. Look at that cat. She's dead. Yep. And by, and dead, all, by dead, all you hear is you just hear muffled. <laughs> so, yeah... To... Oh yeah, that's right. Today is Pac-Man's birthday. Happy birthday, Pac-Man! Oh, what happened oops. to my birthday? They oh, celebrated cake. it without me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that is yeah. not the voice I would have expected Pac-Man to sound like. Just, a, just I a don't know why. I'm just imagining. Just reminds me of the first Turtles film when they got back to the lair and saw the Splinter was kidnapped, and the yell that Ralph did with that incredible camera spin around him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pac-Man World for the PS1. This was, again, as you can no doubt tell by the logo, this was made for Pac-Man's 20th anniversary. And, um, well, they decided to celebrate by giving him his own 3D platformer. Because that was all the rage back then. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. do you think it controlled well? Uh, Ooh. considering the alternative? Yeah. What's this? Party in the Ghost Island. Meet Pac-Man live and in person. But he but is Pac-Man. Rage. Wow. This, this jerk gonna, stole my party. <laughs> we're gonna go to this ghost island then, which looks a lot smaller in this cutscene than it actually is. Yeah, yeah, and it looks a lot more spooky than it really is. Spooky. Also, don't mind the fact that that ghost is clearly in front of a wallpaper. Oh. Oh, he doesn't even. I think doesn't even. I can also I can kind of see the green screen, like the green screen of putting the 3D image in the 2D background, kind of. <laughs> You yeah. See it you see it sometimes in these old games. Whoa, what, what the? the? Oh. Well, oh, shit, I've done my best. Oh. Who is this guy? Pac-Man's here on Ghost Island. The Pac-Man. The Pac-Man. I mean that pathetic fool trying badly, I might add, to impersonate you, who is clearly the So, real okay, then we've been, okay. Um, okay. We did see. We capture Pac-Man, but it's not the right. Not the Pac-Man. <laughs> it's a Pac-Woman. Just stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll just pretend you never saw that. The Pac eyes. So I guess I'm going to ask and see. Since spoilers, we've kind of seen this cutscene a few times. Who Sorry. is that guy, really? Like, in the plot of this game, what is he supposed to be? He is Talkman. The Talk obviously a robotic duplication of Pac-Man. Made by who? Um, Ghosts. Yeah, he was, well, he was made by one specific ghost. His name is Orson. You actually, he actually returns in the third game, and, um, let's just say that he, I guess he wanted to impersonate Pac-Man one day, because, fuck, he's getting all the glory in this day and age. Why yeah, can't he, why, why, why can't he have it, even though nobody really wants to see them big old bug eyes? 
Like, seriously, if you see him in the end of the game, he's got the biggest eyes out of any ghost in the history of ever. So much so that Pac-Man took a liking to it and ate him. Oh, jeez. <laughs> like, ate the eyes, Those too? Those eyes are so uh, I don't think he ate the eyes, but that's all that was left of him. Yeah, yeah, they're all, yeah, it's always the eyes. I was gonna say, dang, if, if Pac-Man even ate the eyes, he wanted that guy dead. Actually, it's funny. It's actually funny you say that. Funny you say that too, because um, I know this is kind of a spoiler, but to be fair, this game's almost twenty years old to us. Um, at the end of the game, to he, 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 like he's defeated Talk Man, he's closed himself. He's like he's really sad, and he, like the, his last phrase before Pac Man literally eats him is like, "Nobody likes a ghost." <laughs> and he literally no, drops a tear, and then suddenly Pac Man takes out a power pellet and then eats him. Dang. No yeah, remorse yeah, no one for likes, the dead. Yeah, no one, yeah, no one likes. Yeah, no I, one likes ghosts. I would say that that, that was rather savage on Pac-Man's part, but let's be fair here. He uh, that same ghost also wrecked his party and took kidnapped all his friends. So let's yeah, go ahead and talk about gameplay here. Oh yeah, sorry about that. This is oh, clearly yeah, a game. Uh, Pac, mm -hmm. like I said before, Pac-Man World is pretty much the first game in which first game in which Pac-Man travels within the third dimension. Woo! And um, with that, he also has the, some perks of perks of the uh, time period. I mean, obviously he can run, he can jump. He also has a butt bounce, which is pretty, which is pretty much you know kind of like Mario's grand pound, only a lot more bouncy. bouncy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'd say it's I would say it's a lot more convenient to use. And also, he took a cue from Sonic and even stole his spin dash. Mm. Yep, they call it the river roll in this game. Is it as uh, is it as efficient as Sonic's, or is it like more situational? I would say it's more it's it's better used as a means to traverse up up slopes. Mm -hmm. And another nice. take another key from Mar from 3D platforms, Mario specifically, he can turn into a metal variant of himself. Oh. It's very useful pretty... to get hints that are goodies that are underneath the surface, which we should probably go ahead and talk about the goodies like these floating oranges and whatnot. Oh yeah, um basically there's a whole bunch of fruit hanging around. They're mostly for points as well as um you can also use them to activate a boat, a little bonus roulette at the end of a stage. They're also used for opening certain wooden doors. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Good job, Pac-Man. You made it to the checkpoint. If you lose a life, you will restart at the last checkpoint you reached. Also, press the square button and you will do a spin dash. I mean a rev roll. Press and hold the square square button and then release the rolls forward at high speeds. Waka 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 well, I mean, okay, waka. Well, okay, I, okay, I will at least make the excuse that at least he's normally a round shape on like, Sonic. True. So I mean, Sonic kind of has more. Sonic has to has to force it. Well, what did you oh, shoot that's all right. There? That's, yeah. I sh I shot out a pack dot because this is actually exclusive to the very first game. If you have some pack dots on standby, you can literally use them and drop them on enemies, and you can even charge them up to make powerful explosions. Wow. Hmm. Because, uh, for a second, I was thinking if I was thinking the pack dots either added to your score or just uh, they or do. just like gave you health. But oh no, they, uh, they they do add to your score so long as you don't use them. Okay. The background doesn't move. Oh, okay, well, oh, it's that's scrolling how... upward, but left to right it doesn't move. Uh, okay. Yeah. I was say okay that okay that's what was I gonna say okay that makes sense then um, when you um... so you get point you get some points for eating the pack dots. But you get more if you keep them until the end of the level. Yep, because they also I think they also do add on to that, that ending roulette as I mentioned. But um actually looking back at Pac-Man World for the PS1, um in a way it's not too far removed from say Crash Bandicoot, but instead of, of it being Sonic's ass game, it's more so Pac-Man's side game. Huh. Because you're mostly tra you are traveling on a on a on a th on a Z axis, but most of the pla most of the um but the camera work is primarily from almost like a 2D plane of a sort. Yeah. It's very simplistic. Which I don't mind personally because, well, so long as you still have plenty of ground to cover, I think you're, I think this whole perspective is fine. So instead you don't have of to worry about it. I think it'd be um, Mario's ribs? I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. Instead of Sonic's ass game, it's the Pizza Pack game in 3D. <gasps> <sighs> there they. Uh, okay. Oh, oh yeah. Let's... Uh... And Rayman uh, Legends didn't, teal, didn't steal his part from them. Actually, no, no, like, this is different. Well, how does this roulette work? Basically, if you line if you line them up, then you I think you get extra I think you either get extra score or extra lives. Hmm. Oh yeah, score two, if you get score score for if you get two cherries. But yeah, it's just like as before. It's I mean with a, with most roulettes, it's rather finicky. Oh, I could have sworn I saw a rather odd-looking thing in that roulette that was definitely not a fruit. 
Oh, right, the ship. Um, in, um, in every level of the game, save for the first one, you can actually find a Galaxian. You know, the ones from the hit game, Galaxian, before it was completely overshadowed yeah. by Galaga. I like but, that. um, I like Galaga. But, um, if you grab one of those and fi find the correct, uh, door, which has it labeled, you can actually access a special maze. <gasps> And, you know. and that's like, is that just something like, it's not like a high score sign, it's just like a bonus thing for like in the main menu? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Well, that well, happened. Now for that's our hub world. Entrance. Yep, this is our hub world for the game, and you can actually roam around if you want to. And there's several tropes with, that are located within this ghost island. I mean, we have the pirate the pirate themed level, the uh, ruins themed level. The Egyptian themed level, or is that ruins? That's the ruins. And, da 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 da, the space themed level! Oh, yeah, you had, you had to have a space themed level. Freaking Glover even had a space themed world. But that's uh, all we can really traverse through in the meantime. But there are three other tropes you'll have to go through. Okay. Oh, all the... about zooms like, quack. <laughs> like, we don't have time for that crap. Let's head back I... and actually do something that actually that actually put Pac Man on the map in the first place the mazes. Ah, yep. yes. Now, starting off, you do have access to three of them from each trope, but um, as you play through the game, you actually will unlock more to play, mostly for fun, anyway. Mm -hmm. So, why don't we show off one for the heck of it? The pirate. Get ready, ready to chomp. chomp! Jump, 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 jump. Ah, uh, you can't get any more classic than this. Actually, yes, you can, if you play the um, classic Pac-Man, which is also uh, an option in this game, complete with the... I think what they did is that they pretty much uh, ripped off the uh, Pac-Man uh, segment from Namco Museum and put it straight into the game, because why not? They pretty much did the same thing with Pac with uh, Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness, which, spoiler warnings, is another game we'll be doing a look at of. So, in case you in case you think it's too alien for Pac-Man to be within the third dimension, woo, you do also have that option. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on, game but yeah, as all... There you go. But yeah, as always, you just gotta collect all the pad docks, and um, if the ghosts get in the way, you can always rely on a good old power pellet to turn them blue and eat them, eat them just like that. Um, this game does run off of the uh, regular game's health rules, though. You do still have your health bar along with your lives, so honestly, these aren't that much harder. These aren't really that much harder than, say, the normal levels. Okay. But they're, I would dare say they're easier than, well, the mazes in Pac-Man World 2. Level complete! Woohoo! And meanwhile, our friends are still kidnapped. Yeah. <laughs> ah, they don't. Mean, they don't mean much. I mean, they don't. I mean, who's still in the industry today? Hmm. Mm. I don't know. Well, shit. I, I hate. I hate it when you quit a game and it gives you like a you failed. Then feel bad and come back and play us, please. How dare you do <laughs> yeah. what you did to your sister? How dare you do what you did to poor Tootie? And makes and grunty sexy in the process. <gasps> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for our look at Pac-Man World One. Um, we might do a look at Pac-Man World Two as well, but unfortunately, that'll have to be on Logan because I don't really have the means to record that. And but all but in the meantime, I do also have uh, Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness um, just right after this. So hopefully, you'll stay for stay tuned for that. Till then, I'm James Magstream. Lucky Jack Twenty. And insert. Obligatory reference about how many times we had to do this one. <laughs> no, more like, more like insert, insert your old joke here. Till next time, guys. That too. Bye.